Okay, we're going to talk about the refrigeration gauge and how it works inside. These are used on manifold gauge sets for uh, refrigeration and air conditioning. And I'm going to take this thing apart and we'll kind of look at how it works inside and what makes it do what it does. Okay, this is that gauge right there as we've uh, taken this thing apart, taking the bezel off and the backing off. And we'll take a look at what uh, what makes this thing do what it does. Okay, here's what it looks like with the back exposed. And, uh, well, let's look down here. You can see there's your fitting at the bottom. And this kind of gives an idea of what the uh, inner workings are. Okay, you can see a sector gear right there, and there's a little kind of hairspring right there. Now, what happens is the uh, whatever you're testing for pressure comes up through here and feeds into this, and it's called a Borden tube, which is a uh, kind of a flattened tube, but it is tubular inside. And as the pressure goes up, then the Borden tube tends to straighten out. As it does so, this linkage right down here moves this sector back and forth, which moves the dial back and forth. Real simple. Uh, let me see if I can get that silly thing to move. As I go up like this, you can see that sector move. and it's moving the dial on the other side because the sector is hooked straight to the dial of the gauge. Uh, pretty simple. They are set up so that uh, they have what's called a retard on them. And I'll turn this around so you can see that. Okay, the retard on this thing is shown down there at the bottom. You can see that. And what it's made for is that if this gauge gets peaked out to where it's way over here, almost 150, at that point it has kind of a little spring-loaded portion of this thing to keep the Borden tube from straightening out so much that it permanently bends. And that'll show your, your zero will get way off when you do that. Uh, the old gauges used to not protect against that, and every time we hooked a heat pump up, we'd hook it up backwards, and we'd end up with uh, a damaged gauge. These don't seem to damage as easily. They will still damage. Anyway, that is the uh, analog gauge. Let's turn this little bugger around again. And it's just a little sector gear in there with that Borden tube and the Borden tube tends to straighten out and move that sector which moves the dial. That's all there is to it.